How you doing, everybody? James Larson reporting for Pinnacle Combat. Big fight happening downtown Cedar Rapids, March 13th. Tickets still available right here on this website, but we are now here with Devin Gonzalez. This guy's on the card, Brandon Ball. I'm joined with Chloe Bonner. She's going to be a part of the card. I'm here with Kyrie Hopkins. He's going to be at the fight. Well, I'm here with MTV Mark Tongvan. I am here with one of the fighters, Jared Demonized Down. And all right, Jared, we're here. You're training. What's going through your mind is we're almost a month away. All that's going on um, is getting ready, getting uh, prepared to go, and working on everything. I'm working my butt off right now. Um, I'm training two to three times a day. Over, I'm over at uh, Anvil, which is a strength and conditioning part of our gym family. I'm also over here every day working wrestling, jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, kickboxing, boxing, grappling, basically hitting every angle that I possibly can, and then getting some cardio in as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working really, really hard to make a really good fight for everybody. Like I said, I work out every day. At the gym, I train at least twice or three times a day. Um, I consistently try to put two workouts in a day. Uh, I actually recently took up a sponsorship with Heat Yoga here in Cedar Rapids, and uh, I've been adding that to the regimen, so it's uh, improved my flexibility a lot. Yeah. I mean, good preparation, it's all about your surroundings. And around here, at Down to Fight Mixed Martial Arts, we got great coaches, we got excellent teammates, pretty much a well-rounded family around here. What do you know about your opponent? This guy's tough, and he's got the title. How are you going to beat him? Anywhere it goes, I'm always going to be ready for him. Um, he is experienced, he's tough, but I'm experienced and tough, and I'm quicker, more explosive, and always ready to go. And you've got a fight coming up against Larry D. What do you know about this guy? Uh, I know he's a, he's a power puncher. He's going to come to fight, but so am I. So we'll see what's good. Uh, Jacob Branch, um, I know he's pretty pretty well rounded fighter. Um, I've seen a little bit of footage on him. Uh, I just know it's going to be a good fight. I don't know what she looks like. I don't know um, really the details. I know that she's 1 0 and she's fighting out of Chicago. Her name is Samantha Diaz. Um, I know that it's going to be a hell of a fight and it's going to be a really good show. Fighting Frankie Osborne. What do you know about this character? Um, he's got some quick striking. Uh, He's kind of susceptible to a good wrestler, so I don't think I'm going to have too big of a problem. I'm fighting against a guy named Jeff Gibson. Uh, I know he's all right on the ground. Uh, I saw him fight at the last Pinnacle fight. So. Now, I heard a story about you. You had some knee problems. You had an injury. And when you called the promoters, you said, I want to fight, but, but don't make it an easy fight. I want to fight whoever wants to fight me. I'm ready to do it. Where do you get that confidence from? Uh, man, it's just like I said, I've been an athlete all my life, and uh, I like competition. That's how I got in the whole MMA thing. You were a state champion in high school. You wrestled just down the street here at Coe College. How does that differ from what you're doing now here with MMA? Um, I don't know. Not much, really. I honestly feel like that was kind of a stepping stone to where I am now. Uh, it's kind of, I guess, shaped my style as a fighter. Um, Big stages, that sort of thing. I, I enjoy that stuff, so I'm looking forward to it. Chloe, I've got to ask you, at what point in your life did you wake up and say, I want to get into the octagon and I want to be an MMA fighter? What was it? Um, I'd have to say it goes back to the Marine Corps. We had a Marine Corps mixed martial arts program, and it was basically the early early days of mixed martial arts incorporation into combat form, and I just fell in love with it, and it's been like that ever since. Hey, I mean, you eat, sleep, everything. MMA, it's my dream, you know. I'm not going to let this slip away. I'm just going to continue to pursue it and uh, make dreams come true. All right, Mark, you're four and one as a pro with a pro title. How did you ever get into this sport? And did you think you'd excel the way you are right now? I just started out uh, wrestling and got into some jiu-jitsu and some kickboxing at the little gym there down in Washington, Iowa, and uh, I just been kept keeping at it ever since and. Uh, I didn't expect it to grow into what it is now, but now it's uh, now it's time to keep going. <laughs> the show is March 13th. If somebody's thinking about going to the show, why should they check it out? They need to check it out because it's one of the only uh, promotions that has been in Cedar Rapids that put on uh, good fights. They're all fair. No one is matched up wrong. A pinnacle is going to bring real fights to Cedar Rapids. If somebody's watching this right now on the website, why should they buy a ticket and come see not only you but the other bouts? Not only it's just, it's really just about supporting your local fighters. And for Pinnacle Combat to come in and put it in the U.S. Cellular Arena, which is 
by far one of the best arena around in the state of Iowa. For them to come here, it's going to be action packed. What is it that makes Pinnacle such an awesome show? Because I've been to them, I always have a good time, but if someone's watching this thinking about buying a ticket, what makes Pinnacle so special? I think the, the best thing about Pinnacle is that we have such a diversity of fighters. You have fighters from the area, people that you can relate to, people that you know um, on a personal level outside of the octagon, and then to see your, your friends compete, to see people that you know on a, on a personal level compete. Speaking of big stages, that's the cool thing for us working with Pinnacle Combat. You're on the biggest stage. Uh, you're on the biggest stage in the state here, downtown Cedar Rapids at the U.S. Cellular Center. If people are thinking about going to this show, what can they expect from the fights? Uh, fireworks. It's going to be a great show. We got a lot of quality fighters from the gym that are going to be putting a lot of work in the next three weeks, a uh, month to get ready for that. So it's going to be awesome. Well, the fights that he put on are definitely really good you know i like the 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 competition he pits on the fights the promotion is good and the fact that this is the second time he's having at the the u.s sailor center really means something it's obviously people are knowing about it uh the city of cedar rapids wants him here you know so obviously let's let's show him or let's give him a good show so I'm sure we will. It is truly a big show. It's happening downtown Cedar Rapids, March the 13th. All the information right here on this webpage. We hope to see you there.